I've only just arrived and coming here straight from the airport with my suitcase. All I want to do is to show you this little piece of paradise on the island of Langkawi. The location is just a nifty 5 minutes car ride or motorbike ride from the airport. And the site of this place is on the Coconut Beach Villa. The accommodation part of this location, the Coconut Beach Villa, is not very well known and sadly just after the COVID lockdown period, it was kind of neglected and abandoned but as they say, there's always a silver lining behind the clouds. Hey you, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel and we are at Coco's Bistro. For a long, long time, Coco's is very popular for its Western cuisine. And that's not surprising, considering the big man himself in the kitchen, Steve, was formerly the chef on the luxury cruise liner, the Queen Mary. If you have the taste for a good piece of steak or even Yorkshire puddings or a Sunday roast, well, forget about the luxury resorts on the island. Come here, come to Coco's Bistro. If you were to ask any of the expats on the islands, especially those from the western part of the world, they will tell you that the best Sunday roast is to be had at Coco's. I'm popping my head around the bar counter, hoping to have a quick banter with Coco. That's Coco there, the owner. Hi! Looks as if that's just keeping her nose to the grindstone for now. Coco's relocated to here, the Coconut Beach Villa, just a few months ago. And before that, they were located just uh, right off the highway on the way to Kwa. They had a lovely lush garden in their previous location and it was a very, very kampung style, very chilled. But the view in their new location here is really something else. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping to catch a tiny glimpse of the sunset, even though I know it's a bit cloudy today. Anyway, let's have a look at the menu. I don't anticipate any major changes to the menu since the last time I dined here. Let's see. It still serves the hearty, wholesome food that Coco is known for. And check out the view and check out the price of the gin and tonic here. It's only 8 ringgit. Makanan daku dah sampai ni. Mai apa kenangan? Tada! It's a beef tenderloin steak done medium rare and fat chippies. That's the way I like them done. I don't like those skinny chips. And not forgetting a healthy bowl of salad. I tell you, ha, I'm really famished by now and I just can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Perfectly cooked makan and a gorgeous view. Well, I don't ask for much in life. I'm feeling totally blessed.
As a rule of thumb, I don't like pouring the peppercorn sauce all over my meat, but I don't mind dipping my chips into the sauce. In such a blissful, down-to-earth setting, a meal is to be eaten languidly, don't you think so? The whole visual setup of Coco's Bistro is very simple and rustic and it's naturally enhanced by the sounds of the waves and the smell of the sea. With my Kindle in hand, my trusted companion, I think I can sit here like forever. My bout of reading just slightly interrupted by a spell of banter across the tables with some newfound friends. The clouds are just floating by, playing hide and seek, and so I'm not getting much of a sunset today. But nonetheless, that's just another excuse for me to come back to Coco's Bistro for yet another sunset spotting. It's very rare for me to opt for a western meal when I'm back on the island, but when I do, it's always back here to Coco's. I have made quite a number of vlogs on the foodie scene in Langkawi and if you're interested, just go on to my main channel and then click on the playlist that says Langkawi and I have quite a number of recommendations especially if you're into very traditional, very local Malay cuisine. Sebenarnya, I betul-betul tekap Melayu tau and I'm more of a nasi and sambal belacan kind of girl. Hmm, did I just see a flash of lightning over the horizon? Alright, I think that's a cue for me to head back. And coming towards the end of this vlog, I'm going to pop my head round the kitchen to say hello to the master chef just before I walk out. And I'm Gobble Guzzle signing off for now. Always be kind and spread the message of peace. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.